We're back. Greg Buchanan, of course, won over under and has a chance to sound off some great action this week. Sure. Yes, uh, local baseball action, North Saskatchewan River League uh, Baseball League gets going at tonight at Legion Ballpark. Meridian Twins hosting the Midgets, I uh, believe, at about 6.30. And that should be a good time for that, of course. Uh, baseball in the air, finally. Finally. Yes, it's been too long, especially with the winters we've had. Apparently out, in, out east in the Atlantic Canada, they still had snow. So I had a little bit of a smile on my Stay face when we were in blue skies <laughs> and sunshine. Hey, um... I want to get to Robert Griffin III real quick. Uh, good news and bad news, depending on how you look at this. Of course, he's getting better. The knee is getting better. He's ahead of schedule, according to his dad. <laughs> his dad. <laughs> yeah, his dad. That's what, that's Robert Griffin's dad saying, you know what? He's throwing the ball. He's looking pretty good. Does he still live at home? Uh, well, uh, I don't think he's, <laughs> if he is, that's a lot of money he's saving. But I'm sure with the money he's making, just the bonus money alone, yeah. he'll be able to survive, at least buy a home, you would think. Yeah. Uh, anyways, no, but to get to a serious topic, uh, it looks like he's all right. They're saying he might be ready for training camp. The, the GM and the owners are saying, not so fast. We don't want to rush this guy. But you know Robert Griffin and the way he is, he wants to be ready for the first game. Uh, come September. Do you guys see that happening? Do you see him coming back? And maybe perhaps doing an Adrian Peterson. Um, you know, people doubting him and comes back full throttle and plays a heck of a game and turns oh, out to be an MVP. Who knows? Uh, an AP type season because he had a great rookie season. Um, he's a competitor. He'll be back for week one. He and for the Redskins sake. The, the only back. scary thing about this is he, he's a young guy. He has great career ahead of him. A long career, they hope. But if he comes back too early, and he's not ready, all of a sudden that uh, long career could be very short. So Mike Shanahan and the rest of the staff should take their time then? Even if he wants to come back, they're not going to no, rush I, him back, I, or I should they? And I don't think they will. I think that he'll have to pass a whole lot of tests physically. Doctors will have a look at him. They'll make sure that he's ready to go before he is, uh, or at least they're going to determine. Well, remember their doctor said you'll be fine and goes back in and gets hurt the next play in the <laughs> NFC Wildcard well, game. have to find a different doctor. Yeah, perhaps. This might be the only good time that they have a four-week preseason, <laughs> have a month to figure it out. <laughs> and then we'll check with his dad later. Or four weeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See how that goes. All right, guys. Uh, I want to say thanks a lot, Greg, of course. So we'll see you again next week, as always. Yes. Bring a bright shirt as well. I will. <laughs> Matt, awesome to have you on the show. It's always great talking uh, trash with you and, and having a chance to kind of speak on sports, man. It's yeah, awesome. That was a good time. Thanks for having me on. All right. And thank you for joining us this week on The Gloves Are Off. Please tune in every 7.30 on CITL. Also check us out on our Facebook page. We do have an overtime edition for some of the topics we haven't got to on the show. So please check us out. In the meantime, take care and we'll see you in seven days.